What are sustainable materials? Well, I've come to Imperial College London to find out because I'm about to meet Dr. Eleanor Diekman, who's turned chicken feathers into really useful packaging. So Eleanor. Yes. Great to meet you. <laughs> That's a lot of feathers. That's actually probably half a kilogram. And they're all from chickens? Yeah, chickens, but we can also use feathers from duck or goose. Can I touch them? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Honestly, that is amazing. So fluffy and light. I can't believe these are from chickens. Chicken or birds in general, they have a lot of different feather types. Wing feathers are fundamentally different to the down feathers, which are to protect against cold or heat in some cases as well. Feathers are real wonder materials made by nature to protect birds from harsh environments. They're water repellent, they recover from structural impact, they enable flight, they're used for display of sexual behavior or courting behavior, so feathers fulfill a range of different functions for birds. And we are leveraging especially the insulation properties of feathers for our product. So you have a company that takes chicken feathers and turns it into a really useful material. Tell me about that. So I'm one of the co-founders of Aero Powder. Ryan is my co-founder, he's leading the business now. We are taking feathers from abattoirs, from slaughterhouses, washing them, preparing them mechanically, and then we have a process that forms them into a textile. Initially, if they come from the slaughterhouse, they will be heavily contaminated. So they will be full of blood, feces, water, they're very moist as well, so it's really a horrible material, to be honest. So it's not a nice matter to deal with. So initially there is a washing process, so we clean the feathers actually to a bedding standard. They're so clean you could sleep on them. Here, here's an example. This is basically the world's first textile made from chicken feathers, and it actually outperforms polystyrene by five hours. So that Just white kind of foamy board that we get in packaging could be replaced by this? That is correct, yeah. Wow, so I'm holding the world's first example of chicken feathers that have been converted into this material. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You must be so proud. What do you do with this? What we're using it for is for food delivery packaging. If you would, for example, order a food delivery box with fresh ingredients, it will get shipped to your house and what careers often do, they just drop it at your doorstep. And especially in the summer, that's a big problem because there's food spoilage, especially in temperatures that are quite high. Uh, it's, fully, it's fully biodegradable, actually. Insulate with some ice packs, close the box, can drop it at the doorstep, last mile delivery packaging concept, and it will stay chilled for 12 hours plus depending on the chilling conditions and environmental conditions. Once you take it out, you can compost it. It's fully compostable, made out of completely biodegradable materials, but it's also reusable. We reused it for 30 times plus and there's no impact on performance or anything. It's fully compostable. So how long would this take to just disappear into nothing? Yeah. In your household compost, take to two years, but in an industrial composting unit, it will degrade within 12 weeks. Incredible. So this product it has a binding agent? Then. Yes, but the binding agent is fully biodegradable as well and certified for composting. You thought of everything? Yes, well, our goal was to make a fully circular product and this is why it's very important yeah, to consider all components. So apart from getting your potatoes and your carrots parsnips delivered safely, what else do you see as being important for this material? So obviously, there is buffering, so it could be also shock absorbency protection. We actually initially looked into house insulation as well, it's possible, but you need to comply with fire safety norms and so on, and that requires additional treatment. And we thought it's maybe nicer to have it as a packaging application because you can keep it basically untreated. You don't need additional chemicals and flame retardants to, to launch a product, but it could be used for house insulation. We're investigating oil absorbency aspects, and it could be even used for water filtration. So anything where non volatile are used, this could be a replacement. My head just jumped to oil spills. Yes, it would work as well. So if you have ever seen oil spills from oil tankers, you see all those poor birds on the beach that are covered in oil. Yeah. Obviously feathers, yeah, being really hydrophobic, they absorb the oil really well. And this is the main challenge. And obviously this product could leverage exactly this effect to actually mop up the oil spills. So we have tests ongoing in this application context. And I started off looking at big industrial waste streams. Feather waste was one of them I came across. And I talked to a lot of industry experts and I found out there's really very, very limited disposal options for this waste material. I started experimenting with the material and then I did a PhD on this. And in those four years, my co-founder and me, we developed a startup and a full conversion process for feather waste. In terms of engineering, it's so remarkable that you can take something that's academic and commercialize it. How has that process been? The biggest learning we probably had is a lot of things that worked in the lab 
were not scalable in industry because the energy input was much more intensive, the water consumption was suddenly really high. So it is really important to understand the transition from lab bench to industry and what the struggles and barriers are in between. Do you have the statistics in your head of the impact you are making by reusing waste feathers? To give you some numbers, in the EU we produce 3.1 million tonnes uh, per year of this material. So it's, it's a huge waste stream, actually it's highly voluminous, a huge amount really of this, of this material. And we calculated we could insulate 7 billion boxes replacing polystyrene within the EU only by using our material. So the challenge is not enough feathers, so we can get them. The problem is more, we are a startup, we want to scale. Up, so really increasing our operations and growing to um, meet market demand. So this is the biggest challenge for us. It's not the feather supply, it's scaling the business. You know, meeting Eleanor today has really opened up a whole area of engineering that I never have really thought about. It's all just so ingenious. It's all so engineering focused. The idea that you can save the planet by being a bit more green through your ingenuity is really what makes engineering special.